Fortnite is now available for everyone on iOS and Android devices using GeForce Now with full touch support. Today I'll be showing you how to set it up on your iOS device, talking about the overall experience and why exactly this is such a big deal. To begin, you're going to want to open up the Safari browser on your iPhone or iPad. And at the top URL bar, you're going to want to type in play.geforcenow.com. From there, you'll land on the GeForce Now webpage, and it'll tell you exactly what you need to do to actually install the app on your home screen. It's as simple as hitting the share button and then selecting add to home screen. As soon as you do, you'll be redirected to your iOS device's home screen. And from there, you just select the app. It'll give you a quick tutorial on a couple of features on how to find games. But what you really want to do is hit that login button. From here, you sign into your GeForce Now account, or if you don't have one, you'll click join now and follow the registration process. Now, I do want to quickly break down the three membership tiers that GeForce Now officially offers, the first of which is entirely free. This includes access to a basic rig, standard access to the gaming servers, and a one hour session length. In case you're wondering, after that one hour session is over, you're going to have to relaunch the game and possibly queue up again for another free session. There is no limit to how many one hour session lengths you can have in a day though. Following that, we have the priority tier, and this one begins at $9.99 a month. You'll be getting access to a premium rig capable of both RTX on as well as DLSS. You'll get priority access to the premium servers, 6 hour session lengths, and up to 1080p 60fps streaming. This is the tier I would recommend to most people, especially if you plan on playing on GeForce Now on the regular. It's got very capable hardware, priority access to the servers themselves, and 6 hour session lengths are more than enough time. But let's say you find yourself to be a power user, much like myself, and you want to be able to play GeForce Now at its absolute best, well then my friend, RTX 3080 is the tier for you. It includes an RTX 3080 rig, which means you're using literally the high end of GPU specs. It's capable of RTX on, DLSS, and running almost every game out there at max settings no problem. On top of that, you get exclusive access to the RTX 3080 servers. This means when you launch a game, you're instantly in that game. And regardless of what type of game you're playing, be it indie or AAA, you're gonna be playing on a 3080 rig. The biggest benefit for me though is that it does stream up to 4K on PC, Mac, as well as Shield TV. Or if you find yourself to be a competitive gamer, it can also stream up to 1440p at 120fps on PC, Mac, and select mobile devices. That to me is a massive deal. I play multiplayer games all the time, and I can tell you with confidence that I've never felt restricted because I'm playing in the cloud. In fact, I made an entirely separate video dedicated to testing the latency on GeForce Now's 3080 tier, and you'd be shocked at how close it gets to the local PC experience even when I'm not even that close to a data center. Heck, if you don't trust my word for it, then trust Digital Foundry, who in their testing actually had results of latency lower than an Xbox Series X console running locally. Obviously, all this power does come at a bit of a premium price of $19.99 a month, but if you're a user like me, it's well worth the asking price. In fact, I've played this entire season of Fortnite just on the 3080 tier, and trust me, I haven't been held back. As a heads up, both the Priority and 3080 tier are available in 6 month pricing where you can save a few dollars a month if you rather go that way, and be sure to check out the regional pricing available to you depending on where you live. Now that you know how it all works, let's get back to the setup. Once you've made an account, selected a membership level, and then logged in yourself, you'll be brought back to the game homepage, and from here, before you click Fortnite and play, I really recommend clicking at the top left, going to settings, and connecting your Epic Games account. In fact, if you plan on using either Steam or Ubisoft Connect, you should connect those too. This will avoid any annoying login process when you boot up a game, but do note, it might still happen every now and then, I've had it happen a couple of times, but most cases, it's a very smooth process. Once you've done that, you simply click on Fortnite on the home page and then click play. The game will begin to load and you're off to game. Now I do need to point out for iOS devices you do need to have an iOS 14 capable device. This means you should be able to go back as far as the iPod Touch 7th generation as well as the iPhone SE and then all the way to the latest iPhone 13. In terms of iPad support, you're looking all the way back to the iPad Air 2 released back in 2014 to the latest iPad Pro and iPad Air. Now for the Android users out there, installing the app for GeForce Now is as simple as going to the Play Store, typing in GeForce Now and hitting download. Once you have the app installed, you simply follow the exact same steps of logging in, creating an account, and then playing. And now with all of that out of the way, let's get to the actual experience. 
Playing Fortnite on GeForce Now with the actual Touch UI being brought over from the original app is pretty much identical to just playing off the app itself. It's seriously impressive just how much it captures that experience. All the UI is in the same position as it was in the original app, not to mention they've added a few new additions for both sliding as well as mantling over objects, as those options weren't a thing back then. To top it off, within the in-game settings, you can actually adjust the layout of the Touch UI itself. So if you don't like the placement of anything, you can make it match however you like. Now look, while I can tell that it feels just as responsive as the original Fortnite, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I'm a good Fortnite mobile player. The truth is, is that I grew up on thumbsticks and mouse and keyboard, so touch controls never really clicked with me. And while you can easily hook up a controller to your device and play with a controller, the whole point of this video is to really show off the mobile touch controls. So what I decided to do is actually grab somebody who knows how to play Fortnite mobile and let them give it a go. That specific somebody was my nephew who's always playing a variety of games on his mobile phone. And as you can tell by this 12 elimination game, he's not struggling whatsoever to actually get used to playing on GeForce Now. In fact, when I gave him the iPad mini to play on and actually record the footage, this was only his third game from playing. Here's what he had to say about playing Fortnite on GeForce Now. Playing Fortnite on GeForce Now was a very fun experience. It had little to no lag and it felt very smooth. It felt as if I downloaded off the Play Store. Also, Auto Fire helped me focus on the game better. It helped me get 12 kills easily. The only difference I noticed for playing Fortnite on GeForce Now compared to the Play Store is it looked better. I can't wait to play more Fortnite on GeForce Now and I'll leave the rest to you, Virtual Cloud. Believe it or not, his words not mine. I actually think he might have a future in this YouTube thing. But in all honesty, his words outweigh mine. At the end of the day, I'm not a mobile gamer. He is. He's the specific audience that this speaks to. And luckily, he owns a device that can download the Fortnite app. But that doesn't change the fact that there are millions upon millions of devices that either don't have access to a way to download Fortnite or simply can't run it. But through the power of cloud gaming and GeForce Now, these sorts of barriers no longer have to exist. And I really do think that's really what's important here. I'm lucky enough to have a gaming PC, all the gaming hardware I want, and I can choose to play locally if I really wanted to. That being said, I have my reasons for choosing the cloud. For me, it's about hard drive space as well as ease of use. But we now live in a world where you can have a device that's not shiny, brand new, or expensive, and it's still able to run the most popular games today. That possibility leaves the door open for a lot. Mobile gaming is growing bigger and bigger each and every day, and in certain countries, it's the definitive way to play a game. And this isn't always by choice either. Sometimes it's just unfeasible to actually go out and buy a console because the minimum wage in certain countries are just way too low and gaming is just way too expensive of a hobby. Speaking as a Hispanic myself, I can tell you right now that mobile gaming is where it's at in Latin America. Back in 2020, there was as many as 147 million people who identified as mobile gamers within that region. Smartphones and mobile internet are currently expanding at a super rapid pace out there. I'm sure you can see where I'm going with this. There's a lot of people out there who benefit from cloud gaming. And if Fortnite is the first example we get on GeForce Now of touch controls specifically designed for a game on that service, I hope there's more to come because the experience is just simply great. Now, if you do happen to be in Latin America and are interested in trying out GeForce Now, I will also point out that GFN is available through an alliance partner, ABYA. Thanks to that partnership, GeForce Now is available in Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Paraguay, and Uruguay. Go to abia.gfn.la for more info. I know it might sound like I went a bit off topic there, but believe me, the touch controls in Fortnite are a start and they are a big deal for a lot of people out there. All in all, the experience is insanely good. And if you're looking to play Fortnite on iOS once again, guess what? You have a way to do so just like you used to way back in the day. Honestly speaking, it may be even better than what you were used to. And I think that really says it all. GeForce Now's mobile touch controls gets a huge thumbs up from me. Now, if you enjoyed today's video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out. And if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. If you have any questions about the overall experience or just GeForce Now in general, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below and I'll answer what I can. As always, thanks for watching. This has been The Virtual Cloud, giving you the latest and greatest on everything cloud gaming related. And until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds. <laughs>